Hey there! First of all, this video is for all of you who have seen my Hyperland um, like basics uh, tutorial video and have maybe failed to, I don't know, get into it, get into the... F I, I mean, if you are um, a pro Linux user, you probably don't need any instructions, instructions for me, right? Uh, but if you are some kind of a beginner or if you need just a little bit of a push in how to configure stuff that might be a tiny bit intimidating in the beginning uh, because stuff does not work out of the box, right? And maybe you have seen my video and configured Hyperland and you were like, hmm, something is like still missing around here and I don't know how to configure it. Uh, well, basically, this is the video uh, for you. This is a follow-up video for my uh, Hyperland Basics uh, configuration. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, configure Hyperidle and uh, Hyperlock. This is the um, idle mechanism that will detect when you are not using your computer and basically it will just lock it from... Uh, other people not to be able to use it. So if you are on a laptop, you're probably going to need something like this. If you are on a desktop, uh, probably as well, uh, you figure it out for yourself. I'm just going to show you how to configure it, right? So let's get into it. Okay, I am on my ThinkPad laptop. Okay, so first of all, make sure to update your system. Oops. There we go. System updated. Now you want to make sure to install Hyper Idle and Hyper Lock. These are already installed on my computer, so I'm just going to reinstall it for fun. There we go. So uh, you can start by uh, locking, by attempting to lock your computer, right? So type Hyper Lock and it will complain that there is no config file. So let's go, go ahead and do that first. There we go, now we have a config file. Let's try to lock our computer once again. And voila, now it works. So now I'm bashing my keyboard, like literally I'm, I'm, I'm pushing keys on my keyboard and nothing is going on. This is because by default, uh, the way this works is that it just locks your computer and it does not actually change anything on the screen. It just says the same. Uh, so now I have pressed enter and it says failed attempt. So now I have to type my password. This is me typing my password and pressing enter and voila, now we are unlocked again. So what we need to do, let's just uh, use nano for now, hyperlock.conf and let's go to the uh, web page where you can see how it is uh, being configured. Okay, so first of all, first of all, you can uh, go ahead and copy this paragraph that says background, right? So let's place a background here. And what this does is basically it goes to the um, image and we can just comment that out if you don't have an image for, the, uh, for, for now and you just want to use the black screen. And we can leave the other options as they are. Let's save this and let's do the hyperlock once again. And there we go, it just fades out to black, right? This is this is the uh, the behavior that we want. Okay, let's type our password one more time and we are now unlocked. And let's go, and go ahead and see uh, on the wiki what else we can do. So there is a, there are some instructions how to draw shapes, uh, how to do the password field. Okay, this is something that we want to do. Let's go ahead and use this example on how to you how to take the password field just copy all that go back to the configuration just drop that in okay save it and let's lock it down once more okay we are at the black screen again but when we uh, press like enter it will says that we are now typing um, invalid password and if we, if we start typing it will uh, present some hidden characters and we press enter and we are now unlocked. So 
what we don't want to have uh, is this behavior that if we just keep bashing enter, it will say that we are entering the invalid password and after a while it will uh, lock us down and it will not let, let, let us log in for the next couple of minutes, which is the default behavior on this system. So what do you want to do is go ahead and find, um, where was it? Ignore empty input. Okay. This is something that you want to copy into your clipboard and this goes into the general category. So let's go back to the uh, config file and let's make a general category. Okay. Let's paste this in equals and let's go back and see what it says skips validation when no password is provided this is boolean and by default is false so because it's boolean we can just type true and we can uh, we can close this down or maybe it's it goes at the beginning of the line i don't think it matters and let's save it and exit and now let's go to the uh, hyperlock again lock our screen down and now i'm pushing the enter key i'm not sure if you can hear it on my microphone but nothing is happening so this is good this is the behavior that i personally like uh, because when my screen goes completely blank i want to be able to press some enter without actually entering the password and i want, don't want to be locked out so when we type the password again we are going to be unlocked so um, there were some other cool stuff like draw a label i guess let's go ahead and draw this label i think this is going to be a nice experiment let's go back to the uh, configuration let's put it on the bottom okay here hey there user let's save this okay lock it down hey there dart it says okay this is my username let's unlock Let's edit this one more time to see if we can do something more fun with it. Okay. Now this is more fun, right? Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to have this lock screen going on automatically. And for this, we are going to need the hyper idle. So go back to the wiki and scroll down. You have this link that goes to hyper idle. It says that the configuration is in hyperidle.conf. Uh, we have some basic commands, uh, example listeners, full hyperidle example. Okay, let's just go ahead and steal everything from here. Let's pretend that this is a default configuration. Actually, if you go ahead and hyperidle, it will once again complain that there is no config file. So let's make one and let's paste what we stole from the wiki. Uh, so something that we're going to change here so that um, we can demonstrate this on this video. Let's uh, time out. Let's put this time out to, I don't know, five seconds. Turn off keyboard backlight. We cannot demonstrate this on video. Uh, listener for the lock session, let's put this, um, I don't know, to six seconds or maybe seven. Actually put this to five and put this to three. Okay, this is going to be fun. Uh, listener timeout, listener timeout. We don't need to change any of these options for now. Let's save this. Okay. Hyper, no, hyper idle okay start it and this is now running and we are counting down two three seconds now my screen went black and the screen is now locked this is the uh, idle timeout that happened after these five seconds that i have configured okay let's unlock this for now and let's quit the idle uh, process now let's go and edit uh, the um, hyperland.conf and you can see something that needs to be added which i have already added previously uh, so you can execute once the hyper idle daemon uh, on your uh, hyperland session start right so this is something that i have previously uh, inserted here and you, you can just copy paste it for yourself it's just one line and it's short okay let's go ahead and kill this whole session now with uh, super key and M, okay. 
and we are going to go back to, to, to SDDM and let's go ahead and log in. And what is going to happen after I log in, my um, hyper idle session is going to start automatically in the background and it will have a five seconds timeout until it locks the screen, right? So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, it is going to start my terminal and my Firefox and two, three, four, five, and it will now lock. There we go. And we are now locked and let's go ahead and unlock it. And let's go ahead and um, config hyper nano hyper idle conf and let's go ahead and put this to something reasonable again. It was like 150 here and we can do this like 300 again and save and voila, we are now done. Okay, so basically this is all there is to it. I'm, I'm sorry that this video took a little bit longer, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to actually configure Hyperland and all of its um, components, right? So uh, what you want to do after like copy pasting my um, configuration, right? You may want to tinker a little bit with it. You can go ahead to Hyperland uh, Wiki and just see what else they can uh, do for you. Like th there are various options that you might want to use, maybe draw some uh, designs on the screen or change the wallpaper to something that you like, whatever you want. I mean, it's your computer, your configuration, you're going to customize it anyway. Uh, right, so I'm just going to give you a gentle push this time and go ahead and continue on your own. See you in the next video.